late in the season in soybeans, what are you going to do to increase yield and profits? Well, you think about this. Okay, you put a herbicide down, you come back in crop, you spray for bugs, you spray for weeds, maybe even you spray a fungicide out there and you think, hey, I've done my job. No. We're just getting started. Soybeans are flowering. They're gonna continue flowering for a considerable amount of time. Typically, we're gonna see flowering happening out in the field for a couple of months. Well, that's a big time window where, hey, there's new blossoms coming. We still need to protect that plant. We can still influence it with nutrient applications or other things. You know, don't give up on your beans. It's never too late for beans to recover and make good yield. Well, never's kind of pushing it, but I will say this. Well, eventually Our, the beans wanna... senesce and mature, right. absolutely. But, but until that point, right. we still have things we can do. Exactly. And one of the things our dad always used to say, and, and the old saying from farmers in our region of the country was, August rains make beans. Okay, it's early August. There's still a lot of yield potential sitting there on the table. Are we going to take it or not? And yes, you're definitely going to be helped if you have some August rains. But even if you don't have a lot of August rains, you got to be looking at diseases, possibly even weeds, definitely looking at insects, and even thinking a little bit about fertility. This is right at a critical stage. A lot of people are doing tissue analysis. We certainly are on our farm at this time of year to see how are we sitting on phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, some of the micronutrients. Maybe a little foliar feeding might be worth a shot. Lots of things to consider. Recently, I was talking to a farmer who, this is his first year pulling plant tissue analysis on his farm. So he started off in May and June and he pulled samples in corn and in soybeans. And he said, you know, in the corn, I was seeing some things where I was short in this or short in that but in my soybeans everything looked good so I quit pulling samples in the beans <laughs> and just focused all my effort in the corn and and so often we see the soybeans looking good at least as far as nutrient levels in the plant until we hit flowering until we start putting pods on until we start filling those pods now is the time you have to be watching the soybean fields to see all right what am I running short on what can I do differently in my fertility program whether it's a foliar feed now or something that we focus on this fall or next spring for the next crop but keep an eye on those those bean fields, there's a lot of things showing up. All right, so just real quick, when I look at weed control late in the season, there aren't a lot of options yet. You might still be able on, to be on label with Roundup this late in the game. Otherwise, quite frankly, it's going out walking some fields if you have to do that. When I talk about fungicide, hey, late in the season, yeah, we can not only increase yield a little bit, but also improve seed quality. So especially for seed growers, they should be looking at foliar applications of fungicide right now. When it comes to insecticide, you know what? Insecticide's dirt cheap. It's two bucks an acre for the full rate. So if you have only a few bugs out there, you might be able to justify treatment. So the reason why we're talking about all this is just to hopefully motivate you to go out and do some scouting on your farm. Look for weeds, for insects, for diseases, for opportunities to maybe hit a field or two with some foliar fertilizer do some things, try some things out on your farm, there's still a chance to bump your yield and your profits. Well, one of the things you may be scouting for is our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to control it coming up next.